Good afternoon, welcome to the ICTY weekly press briefing. I'm Magdalena Spalinska, spokesperson to the Registry and Chambers, and I'm joined by Sasha Kontic from the OTP. Uh, on Monday, 17th of June 2013, Judge Maron granted Dravko Tolimir a seven-day extension for filing his appellant's brief, which is now to be filed by Friday, the 28th of June 2013. Tolimir, the former Assistant Commander-in-Chief of Intelligence and Security in the main staff of the Bosnian Serb Army, was sentenced in December 2012 to life imprisonment for genocide, crimes against humanity and war crimes committed in 1995. Uh, the next status conference will be held on Friday, 5th of July at 11 o'clock in the morning in courtroom 2. Now on to the activities in the courtrooms hearings in the trials of Radko Mladic, Goran Hadzic and Radovan Karadzic continue this week and next as scheduled. In the case of Radovan Karadzic, the chamber is currently hearing the testimony of Bogdan Subotic, former Minister of Defense of Republika Srpska. He's the 150th witness to be called by the defense. Now in the case of Radko Mladic, Dragomir Keserovic, former Republika Srpska Army officer, is currently testifying about the events in Srebrenica in July 1995, when he was in the security administration of the VRS main staff. He is the 108th witness to be called by the prosecution. In the case of Goran Hadzic, the chamber is currently hearing the testimony of John McElligot, former member of UN forces in Croatia. He's the 54th prosecution witness in court so far. Thank you very much. I give the floor to Sasha. Uh, no statement from the office of the president. Questions? I have a question. Uh, <coughs> what is your reaction or comment on the petition that was started uh, by the SEC Association of Victims for the independent UN uh, uh, investigation into the work of the judge uh, Merrill? Uh, this news is connected with the recent news of the leaked letter uh, of Judge Harhoff. And um, on behalf of registering chambers, we will not comment any aspect of this story. Just one more, maybe you can comment it about the rules. Uh, is there something, uh, some rule, or how, how it is according to the rules of tribunal? Uh, what are the consequences for the judges publicly expressing dissatisfaction, but dissatisfaction with the work of judges? There is nothing in written rules about public dissatisfaction uh, by, uh, by the judges or expressed by the judges. Um, you can glean into the statute and into the rules of procedure about uh, the statute, uh, the, the status of, of judges, uh, but there is no specific um, addressing uh, of the question of this kind of dissatisfaction. Can the rule 77 be applied to the judges? I would not like to comment on this. Yeah, okay. Uh, can you tell us uh, uh, what, uh, if anything, uh, uh, president uh, or chambers will do to restore credibility of the ICTY and the confidence into, into uh, ICTY decisions, judgments. Mirko, again, um, I will not comment on any aspect of this story. Sasha, can Thank I you. ask if, uh, if this situation with Judge Harhoff has led the OTP to consider some kind of judicial review of, uh, for example, Gotovina's appeal judgment or Stanisic Simatovic appeal? No, not, not per se, but you know, as, as you know, the, the we have a year to, to, uh, for, the, for the review uh, application, so it's still going on and, you know, we, we, we haven't been considering this as, a, as, as something which, which, would, which would, you know, uh, prompt us to, to react on it. And uh, will the OTP ask for any, any, any investigation 
into allegation from this leaked letter. No, we are, we are, we are, we are, we are not commenting. We are not commenting on, on, on this case. So we are, we are, we are I, cannot, I cannot comment on your, on your question. Yeah, so you, 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 don't, uh, you don't want to, uh, at the same time, not, not to say that you are going to, uh, to, to ask for investigation or that you are not going to ask. Yeah, no, yeah, exactly. We are not commenting. We are not commenting on, 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 on this uh, issue. I suppose that uh, you can tell us what was uh, uh, Chief Prosecutor Brahmin's reaction on, the, on, on, on this uh, leak uh, uh, letters, since uh, uh, it seems that uh, uh, according to, to to his speech, also the speech in Security Council, uh, he expressed dissatisfaction with the decisions which are put into the question by uh, Judge Harkov. As, as you know, the prosecutor Brammertz, uh, after the, if we are talking about the Gotovina judgment, uh, uh, prosecutor Brammertz had a, a public statement about the, about the dissatisfaction with the outcome, but as, as we said, we are not commenting on the on the judicial decisions, and we are not going to comment on this on on the judicial uh, on this judicial uh, decision, also. But you know, as you know, there is a <coughs> there is a way for us for the, through the review application, and it is it is still still uh, you know we have still a year to do so. Magda, can you tell us uh, when are the next presi uh, presidential elections in, in, the, in the ICT? Why? Um, the date is still not set. As far as I remember, the presidential elections, last ones, were held in November, if I'm not mistaken. Well, then it's changed dates. Um, so it's held every two years. But, uh, well, the tenure is two the years. Yes, the, the tenure is two years, but the elections are usually held before 17 of November because the 17 of November is the date of the uh, new tenure when it starts. As soon as we have the date, I'll let you know. At this point, we don't have a specific date. Uh, what can you tell us about the, uh, uh, some news published in the New York Times that there are already candidates for those uh, uh, elections which will uh, run opposite to President Merrill? I cannot tell you anything. These are internal issues in chambers and um, I don't know. These are the judges who are deciding on these things and uh, obviously I'm not uh, free to comment on such issues. So it's uh, more or less like uh, the election of the conclave, uh, like election of the Pope, you know, we don't, we don't know the who are the candidates that until we see the, the white uh, smoke from the chimney of the tribunal? The judges elect the president from among themselves. That's the rule, right. and this will be the rule that will be followed this time as it has been followed in the past. Like cardinals, they also elect the pope among themselves here, without, uh, 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 without public, uh, publish in advance who are the candidates here. Yeah. I understand that. Is President Laurent prepared to talk to us about this situation? It seems to be damaging the, the tribunal. At this point, the President is not making any comments on the situation. I think it would be really good if he did. <laughs> is there a way or a body in which uh, tribunal's judges can uh, mutually address the grievances of one of them publicly ex expressed? Well, the judges uh, are in contact with each other all the time. Now, uh, I would have to get back to you, uh, Radosha, on the issue whether there is a specific body for that. Uh, but obviously, the judges are in contact all the time with the president. Um, and the president is there to address any issues that are presented to him uh, in an official way. Yes, but if he is the, 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 uh, uh, the party involved in this, the, 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 uh, this publicly expressed grievance, grievances, then, then uh, how can he address it, you know, if you leave, leave it to his own will? I suppose it's up to him to address it. Then. And 
this position of the pub, the, the press office not to comment or or uh, sorry of the uh, registrar and the trial chambers and uh, it seems uh, that uh, the prosecutor's office shares the same position how that uh, complies with the uh, institution which prouds itself as a um, institution which uh, uh, applies the highest standards of uh, transparency and uh, accountability and highest legal standards. Radosha, we are not commenting on this story. This is uh, the, uh, a letter which has been leaked to the press, a private letter, and we are not going to comment on this. Yes, that's, that's what I'm asking. That's your decision or? Sorry. That's the institution's decision not to go into this story, comment it, or in any way uh, have a stance about this story. And who decides in the name of the institution? I'm relaying this on part of the president of the uh, chambers and the registry, whom I represent. So it's clear. But the fact that the, the judge sent the private letter in which he criticizes uh, Judge Meron or president uh, can be seen as his uh, kind of uh, public protest because uh, he couldn't address this situation with the president himself. These are your thoughts. Yes, I really have no course. comment yeah. about uh, <laughs> okay. your opinions okay, or, or okay, thoughts okay. about this I mean issue. It sounds logical, but yeah. if he could address it uh, uh, with, with the Judge Meron, I don't believe he, he would... Uh, go public. What is uh, the Office of the Prosecution position uh, regarding the uh, allegation, or it's not a, not only allegation, regarding those uh, uh, confidential cable from U.S. Embassy when, you, when uh, 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 President Merrill was asking uh, support of his uh, government uh, to undermine the position of the Chief Prosecutor uh, Carla Del Ponte in 2003, uh, yeah, three, and also to prevent her re-election for, for the position of the Chief Prosecutor. I think that would be, that would be a good question to ask uh, the, the uh, people who were involved in it, so uh, President Meron obviously, and, so, and, and, and uh, this question was asked to the Office of the Prosecutor uh, earlier, and we, we also declined co to comment on the on the WikiLeaks uh, WikiLeaks uh, uh, telegrams. No, it's not WikiLeaks telegram. It's a uh, U.S. Uh, embassy from the WikiLeaks telegram. The, I, I mean, I mean, mean which were which were leaked through the through the WikiLeaks, and and we declined declined comment on 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 those uh, at the time, and our position remains the same. L last time when uh, WikiLeaks. Uh, uh published the, the, the cable by the American Embassy in which uh, former uh, uh, chief of the detention unit, Patrick uh, McFadden, commented on Milosevic's uh, health. The tribunal, if I'm not wrong, uh, set up an investigation led by Judge Ori, or, or Judge Ori looked into it and uh, concluded that this is a, m this might be a disciplinary matter, not a contempt of court matter. Could we expect something uh, similar in this case? Because Judge Meron was quoted in an American cable, diplomatic cable, as mm -hmm. saying what Mirko just quoted. At this point, I, d I have no information about uh, a commission like this or any plans to set it up, but uh, if there is any change on that, I will let you know. Um, will this whole thing affect the date of the Sheshul judgment, as far as you know, or affect the composition of that chamber? Uh, the Sheshul judgment has been said to be pronounced on the 30th of uh, okay. October, and this date still stands. Judge Harhoff is on the on the chamber. 
theoretically, what, what would uh, happen if, uh, let's say, Judge Harkov resigns before the... Uh, I will not speculate about such things. If no more questions, thank you very much and I'll see you next week.